Hey there! In this video tutorial, we're going to show you how to get started with your Core 500. The Core 500 is a digital stethoscope with a digital display, live heart rate, and 3-lead ECG. We'll show you how to set up the device and understand its features. You'll need to use the Echo app to finish the Core 500 setup. The app is required to take recordings with the Core 500 and view AI results on the device's screen. You'll also need it to visualize the three-lead ECG. Let's get started. First, let's attach the earpiece. The mark on the chest piece socket should align with the right side mark on the earpiece. Plug the earpiece into the Core 500. Twist the earpiece clockwise with a quarter turn until it locks. The mark on the chest piece socket should align with the left side mark on the earpiece. To detach the earpiece, twist it counterclockwise with a quarter turn until it unlocks. Now, let's turn on and turn off the device. To turn on the device, press the top button. The Core 500 automatically goes to sleep after a short period of not being used. Pick it up on the neck of the chest piece to wake it up. To turn it off, press the top button and the volume up button at the same time. When you see the confirmation screen, press the volume up button again. To charge the device, connect it to a power source using the included USB-C cable and a power adapter. The device can't be used while it's charging or if it loses battery power. To change the volume, press the up or down buttons on the side of the device. Now that your device is on, let's take a tour of the screen. The audio filter shows at the top. To change to a different filter, press the top button for less than one second between each filter. You can choose between cardiac, pulmonary, and wide. Wide is for all use cases. Each filter has been optimized for the unique frequency of these sounds. We recommend using the wide filter first because it has the widest bandwidth for all body sounds. Then, the cardiac and pulmonary filters can be selected to focus on specific sounds for those use cases. And finally, in the middle is the lead indicator. This is used for ECG. ECG recordings require contact with skin. If the electrodes don't make contact with skin, the lead indicator is gray. When they do make contact with skin, the lead indicator turns green and has a check mark. Now that you've had a tour of the Core 500, you're ready to get an ECG reading. Place the device on the skin. When you get a good signal, the screen shows the heart rate and ECG waveform. At the bottom of the screen is the heart rate in beats per minute. If the rate can't be detected, two dashes appear instead. We recommend using the Echo app to read and interpret the full three-lead ECG. If you have AI analysis turned on, you'll see results right on the screen. You can open the Echo app later to review the recording and analysis results. That's it. Now that you've learned the basics for the Core 500, you're ready to go. You can learn more in our Help Center at support.echohealth.com. Thanks for watching.